nobody went downstairs to rescue animals. In that case, uh, bears and the goats used to feed the bears. So they all died down below, and their corpses blocked up the sewing system, causing water to spread upwards instead of gushing out of this valley. After a century, this became a stinky swamp. Dead animals, food, debris, water, dyes, walnuts, imagine all the things that thrown by spectators. And this was left untouched until 1905. Meanwhile, the costume underwent several changes. Stronghold, open air church, red light district, quarry for construction materials, hospital, open air church again, reconstructions carried out two centuries ago. Look at the bright bricks on the left, the ones forming a triangle. Look at the ones further right. And look at the bricks over here. You see left, the bright ones from two centuries ago. You see on the right, reddish ones from the Roman Colosseum. In 1905, the Roman mayor Nathan was told by an archaeologist that the treasure was hidden somewhere, the treasure of the medieval family Frangipane. And the Roman mayor, along with the hundreds of crazy Romans, came over with their shovels, they dug up everywhere, they uncovered every single wall and pulled the stinky water up here. A lot of archaeologists fainted during the work, but listen, no hint of the treasure. It was just a legend, it was never found. By the way, the grand-grandchild of the Roman mayor running the first excavations will be your true guide for the photo tour. 1999, the architect in charge erected the platform on your right, just to give you an idea of what was the floor level like. Imagine the same platform to extend on top of the walls underneath. Look at the white uh, steps over there. Actually, they were not steps, but the seats for spectators. Imagine the same to fill up the Colosseum to be everywhere, and spectators coming along with their cushions. If they are onto the platform, we would be able, we would be able to read the names of senators engraved on the marble. Sadly, the platform there has been shut down uh, in June 2003 after a concert given by Paul McCartney, after which the architect said the platform is no longer stable, let's close it down, let's dismantle the bridge in the middle, the point is the custodians don't want to be on the platform all the longer. That's why only 40% of the Colosseum is accessible. Meanwhile, when upstairs, you'll be able to go all the way around. Now, how many gladiators really died in the Colosseum? Professionals, not so many, believe me, unprofessionals, a lot. The ones causing zero were flesh criminals, prisoners without the previous training. The others were costing the equivalent to 20,000 euros to fight an hour, and 40,000 would be the found for the managers if they died in the combat. According to our statistics, just 10,000 professionals a century died in the Colosseum, which is not a big number, since still according to statistics, Roman drivers can kill much more than gladiators. <laughs>